What do you do? Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and YouTube. I say, uh, what it is. All right, y'all. Welcome to Wine Wednesdays, where we pour ourselves a glass of wine or liquor or what the hell it is that you drink and have a little discussion. And as you can see what the title says, I will be discussing a uh, particular movie called Velocipaster. Yeah, you heard me correctly. Velocipaster. Now, just go ahead and pull yourself uh, 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 whatever it is that you drank and look at these clips and I'll be right back. Welcome back. So, um, before we get into this discussion, let me, um, let me, let me take a sip. All right. So right now you're probably thinking to yourself, is this movie for real? Is this a joke? Is someone pulling my leg? No, this is legit a movie. And for my friends who have been following me on Facebook and uh, no, I've been talking about this movie. They, you're probably thinking I'm getting ready to bash it, but I'm not. And I'm going to tell you why. Well, let me first start saying this. Most people, especially my friends, close friends and family, know I am very serious when it comes to cinema. I am very serious when it comes to film. And I am serious when, you know, when it comes to telling a story. Yes, there's comedy out there where you laugh and you know whatnot, but you can still tell a fantastic story in the genre of comedy. It, that, that is still a thing. And so when I saw this, because a friend of mine posted on his status. So when I saw it, I was a little upset because I'm like, somebody had to like fund this film. Like who, who, who? Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I just said, whenever I do these videos, that's when people love me. Um, any other time, my phone drier than the Sahara Desert. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I, I I was a little upset because somebody had to buy this, and it's on Amazon Prime. So if you have Amazon Prime, go. And I'm thinking to myself, there's so many people out there with so many fantastic stories, and they're getting told no almost every single day. And yet, something like this seemed to always get sold and get made and get funded. And I'm like, why? There's so many people out there with so many stories to tell, so many fantastic stories to tell. And they're getting told no. And then Velasa Pastor gets greenlit it. I'm like, okay. I want to say this now to anybody who is some sort of storyteller. If anybody want to tell you that your work's not good, remind them that there is a movie. Okay, two types of movies. Like one where there's sharks and tornadoes, and they made several of those movies. Then you have um, Velocipaster. So let me go ahead and get in. So, so love your work, because trust me, somebody will like it. Somebody going to buy it. It may not be Steven Spielberg or, or James Cameron or, or, or Tyler Perry. It may not be any of the big headers, but somebody will like it. Yeah, just keep going, please. Don't stop. You may not know me. But for me, just keep going. Please, don't stop. Don't stop. Don't, don't let nobody tell you you ain't, you ain't good. I would say the F word, but I, I, I want to keep this clean. But um, so let's go into Velocipaster. Now, to give you a quick little rundown, because this won't be a long video, um, to give you a, a rundown of what Velocipaster is, it's basically about a pastor who gets, um, he has like a dinosaur claw. But see, this is the thing. It's called Velocipaster, like Velociraptor, but I think he turns into a T-Rex. <laughs> so he has this claw, and he gets cut by it. So it's in the same fashion of when you get attacked by a werewolf, and you don't die, and you become a werewolf. Well, he got scratched by this, this dinosaur claw fossil thing, and so now when he gets angry, he turns into a dinosaur. You heard that correctly. He turns into a dinosaur when he gets angry. Now, this is why 
you you are already saying, well, dude, you sound like you're bashing it. Now, I, I really am not. I'm just telling you how absurd it sounds, how ridiculous it sounds. And you're probably with me at this point. Like, are you serious? Y'all probably Googling it right now. I know some of y'all Googling it, right? Now. Google it, Google it. And if you got Amazon, if you've got Amazon Prime, then, then you can go ahead and check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Okay, so basically at this point, I'm like, okay, I have to see this because people are talking about it. They're saying it's ridiculous, but it's good. So I'm starting to look at the movie. And as I'm looking at the movie, I'm still kind of pissed. I'm like, how? I, I guess you could say jealousy and envy, I guess. Uh, it's just, as I'm, I'm, I'm at this point at the beginning, it, it took me maybe 20, 25 minutes in to realize that this movie, and I should have gotten this off the bat, it was meant to be ridiculous. It was not meant to be taken seriously. Now you can say, well, Landris, you should have known that when it was called Velocipastor. No, because there are people that are writing movies like that and be dead ass serious and think that's one fantastic story. Now, if you want to say the man want to get mad and turn to a dinosaur, I'm not saying that that can't be good, especially if it's executed right. But it was just, I, there are people that be writing stuff like this and be dead ass. And then you'd be like, didn't you just tell people not to stop writing, blah, blah, tell a good story. I'm saying there's people out there with fantastic stories. I'm telling you, they're getting told no every day. I know. Believe me when I say, I know. So I'm sitting here and I'm looking at it and I'm laughing at certain points. And I'm mad. At this point, I'm mad at myself for allowing myself to take something so serious that was not meant to be serious. And I was just sitting there laughing at the absurdity of it. And I'm thinking to myself, this is what this writer was going for. He didn't want you to take this seriously. And at the very beginning of the movie, and this is where I, I literally, it went over my head at that point. At the beginning of the movie, this is the one thing I will reveal. It's not like it's a serious movie anyway. The parents of the pastor dies in like a car explosion. So you see them waving at him. Then it cuts to the pastor. You hear the explosion and it goes back and the, the street is completely empty at this point. There's no car. There's no parents. There's nothing there. And I didn't catch it at first. I had to go back because I was like, I, what, what, what happened? Did they get hit by the car? I don't understand what's going on. You, what, what happened? That's when I see the, the, the words. I um, can't remember the exact words, but it was basically saying um, special effects here. So it was an empty street. You hear the burning of the car, but you don't see it. It just says special effects here. That's when I should have known the purpose of this film that it was meant to be ridiculous. It was meant for you to just sit here and laugh because even when he turns into a dinosaur for a very long time, all you see is like this little plaster head. It's not even CGI, it's plaster. And when he's, when they show the full dinosaur, it's literally like this little plaster thing, very cheaply, awfully made little costume thing that you could tell someone's in. And I'm just laughing my ass off because I'm like, this is what he was going for. And this is what happens when you take stuff so seriously that you don't realize and, and just look at something for what it is. And so I'm at this point, I'm mad at myself because I'm like, see, I, I took this so seriously and I take things so seriously. And, and we all do at times when we just cannot just, we, we just let something go over our heads. You know what I mean? And I forget sometimes in this industry, the main purpose is to entertain people any way that you can, as long as they're entertained. And I was thoroughly entertained by this movie. It was ridiculous. It was stupid. The story was dumb. And that was the point. And I didn't get that at first. And that's why I was like, wow. Wow. So that's it. Now, like I said, this wasn't going to be a long video because I just, I'm not going to go through. Go see it. Um, get your friends together. Uh, get a date together. Just let them know what they're in for. Let them know it's a ridiculous movie. But it's funny ridiculous. Um, and I can't even believe I'm, I'm actually kind of promoting something like this. Because I just, I don't, I, I, because I know there are people that will write something so sloppy and so terrible and it gets sold and it gets made. And then somebody who has this fantastic story is told no. And you're like, can they get their chance, please? Because I, you just, you just, you miss an opportunity. 
And so, I mean, look at J.K. Rowling. How many people told her no for Harry Potter before somebody was like, you know, we'll give you a chance and I'll look at it. You never know. So, um, check out the movie, uh, Good Friend Night, um, Movie Night with Friends, uh, Date Night. Uh, but just let them know what they're in for. Don't make them think they figure to watch some uh, Oscar Award winning um, um, shit. Uh, let them know what they're in for. But um, I appreciated this movie for what it was because I was entertained. I probably... I, I I just I I never been so entertained like that before by this type of movie. But when you go out of your way to make it as ridiculous as you can, because you know that's what you're going for. So um, check it out. It has a. I really hate y'all, man. Don't nobody be hitting me up when I'm just bored and 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 and, and need somebody to talk to, and just like. Maybe I turn this thing on. Like everybody want to have a conversation. Like, hey, how you doing? What's up? I'm making a video. All righty. So that's it, y'all. I'm done. I'm done. I am done. Um, yeah, this is going about ten. All right. So I'm done. That was one. I'm sorry, y'all. It's one. I'm. I don't think y'all. Do any y'all even watch my my videos all the way through? I don't know. Anyway, this is about eleven ten minutes. Velocity Pastor, check it out. Just don't take it seriously because. The writer didn't take it seriously. All right, so I'm out. So thank you guys. Thank you for joining me here at Mystic Shadow Films.